Right, I've won work clap rear. This is going to be my easy and extremely quick way to make 20% alcohol. And the reason I'm going to put this on my channel is because I suppose you could use this for bartering in a sort of shit hit the fan situation or whatever. You know, and it's a useful thing, alcohol. So this is for 20% and done within a week. You can do it with less stuff and it be just as strong but it'll take longer. <clears throat> so what you're going to need is a packet of this Alcotec Turbo Yeast which does 14% in 48 hours or 20% in 5 days and then you need 2 days to clear it. <clears throat> so you want the yeast, the stuff to do the clearing which is a double sachet you want something to put your bottle in because because this is such a quick way of fermenting you don't use an airlock right so you have to have a bottle that doesn't have a lid on it and it's definitely going to overspill so you need something to put that bottle in so what we're going to do, this is going to be 5 litre batch. <clears throat> so you do the 5 litre batch in a bigger barrel. This barrel is actually for using the whole bag. This bag does 25 litres I think it is. Um, and this would, you do that in here. But what I do is you put this bottle in here without a lid on. And then you either cover the top up with cling film or just like a a sheet or something. What that does, that acts as the, not an airlock, but it stops flies getting in because flies will be attracted to it. So you want something to put this bottle in, something bigger than it, and something you can put a cloth over the top, or you can put a balloon on with a, with a hole in it. Because you don't need an airlock because it's going to be done quicker than you know, you just don't need an airlock to stop, like, uh, you know, dirt getting in and, uh, you get, like, yeast that's in the air, like, natural yeast and stuff like that, just, just to stop dirt and stuff getting in and bacteria. You're going to want some sterilising tablets, I just use these because it's just one tablet for five litres, so you just chuck one in there. That's the clean film for the lid to that. You're going to want something to measure the temperature of the water and I'll just use one of these, it's a stick-on thermometer but instead of sticking it on because I use it for different bottles I leave it in the bag and I just sellotape it to the bottle each time. You're going to want, you, you want really to make it easier, a half a teaspoon spoon but um, you could use a teaspoon and I'll explain how to do the measurements from that. You want a funnel to put the yeast in. You don't necessarily need it with these bigger lids, but you might need a funnel. Later on, you're going to need a siphoning tube. But again, you don't have to have that, but it makes things a lot quicker. And then this is the this is active charcoal or activated carbon, activated charcoal. Uh, and that's what purifies it. <coughs> so... Like I said, this is going to be a 5 litre batch. If you want to do more or less, I've got like a table here that explains if you're doing 5 litres, you want 4.2 litres of water, 1.2 kilograms of sugar for the 14%, 1.6 for the 20%, and 27 grams of yeast, I think. So I'll print that out. Yeah, oh yeah, and the last thing obviously you want sugar. And for 5 litres, you want 1.6 kilograms. This is 2 kilograms, so you're not going to use all this. Yeah, 1.6 for that 5 litres. So the first thing you want to do now is just clean this bottle as much as you can. Just soap and water and then put a sterilising tablet in it for the instructions it says. Which is like 10 minutes I think. Chuck your spoon in there as well, so that gets sterilised. And then, 
once it's clean, rinse it out and fill it up with some 25 degree water. It can be between 24, 25, 26, something like that. Up to, not fill it up, sorry, fill it up to about here. So about three quarters up, because you're going to have to get that 1.6 kilograms of sugar. So next time, the next part of the video, you're going to see it with water up to here. And it's around 24, 25, 26 degrees. It don't really matter as long as it's that. And I'll tell you how to do that. Like, to gauge it, fill it up. And if it feels barely warm, that's around about the temperature. If it feels hot, it'll be too much. So when it feels barely warm, just check it. You know, All right, so when we come back, that should have the water in. Right, so your bottle should be sterilised now and filled up to about the top line here with 24, 25, 26 degree water. I've got it up to here. There's the thermometer and it's around about 24, 25 degrees. So what you want to do now is add the 1.6 kilograms of sugar which will bring this water up. If when you do it, because I've never measured it properly yet, I always just judge it every single time. If you haven't put the sugar in it's coming up to the top, the sugar should just sit at the bottom so you can pour some of the water out to add more sugar. If it's not high enough, just add some more water. So, just pour your sugar in now with these big, um, and the sugar's just normal white granulated sugar, you know. With these big uh, openings, you don't need a funnel. You know, you use one if you want. And if I didn't say, when you um, ferment this, don't need to put this in a airing cover or anything like that. This will just go in any standard room that uh, the, the temperature doesn't keep going up and down. This room that I do it in stays around about 22 degrees. It may go up a little bit when the heating's on, but as long as it stays around about the same, it'll be alright. I'm not going to bother um, measuring the weight of this, I'm just going to judge it, work out about 1.5, 1.6. Looks like I've not got enough water either. Yeah, I reckon that's about 1.6. The water could go up a little bit more. It's about here. I would bring it up about another inch. So put about another inch worth of water in. You still want it an inch away from the top though. So up to about there, making sure it's still to 24 degrees. And then come back. Right, I've topped mine up to about here now. And like I said, this will definitely overflow when it ferments. It ferments so vigorously that if you put a... Well, if you left the lid on it, it'll explode. If you put an airlock on, it'll blow it off. Uh, yeah, so you do need this without a lid on in something. Because it's going to froth out. So what you want to do now, though, put the lid on and you want to shake this get a good shake may take about, I don't know, three or four minutes shake this till that sugar has completely dissolved right, so should look like this now, pretty much clear one slightly cloudy at the top but there's no sugar settling right down at the bottom so that's pretty much good enough you can do it till it's clear but um like i said that'll do so this is the five litre batch so for five litres for 
20% in five days, you want to put 27 grams of sugar in. Now I've worked it out. Now this isn't exact, but it works every single time. This has never failed. Half a teaspoon is 25 grams. So you basically want around about 11, 11 and a half, maybe 12 half spoons in here. So you just basically want to get your bag, open it, and put in 12 spoonfuls. And then put the lid on, give it a gentle shake. Don't go mad, but you know, just get it so it's mixing all in. Right, well, that should do. Now, all you want to do, take that lid off, do not put it back on, and then put this bottle into your barrel or whatever you're using you could just have this in a tray with a bit of cling film over with a hole in but it will push that off you need that hole open really and something over it so you put this bottle in here and then cover the top up cover the top over with cling film or just a sheet stop anything getting in it and then you just leave it for five days so when we come back, this will be five days later. Yeah, and then you basically want to just leave this in a room that stays around about 22 degrees. That should do it. You know, it can be slightly hot, it can be slightly colder. We just want a room that will stay around 22, 20-ish. You know, doesn't get too hot or cold. Just doesn't, as long as the temperature doesn't go up and down, that should be fine. 